Hi, my name is Johnny Lee, and I'm going to show you something cool to do with the Wii Remote. Now, multipoint interaction has become very popular these days due to products like the Apple iPhone. But what I'm going to show you in this video is how to track multiple fingers in thin air, kind of like how they do in Minority Report, using the Wii Remote. Now, to explain how this works, I'm going to first have to talk a little bit about what's in the Wii Remote. Now, of course, there's the motion sensing part of it, but in the front of the Wii Remote is actually an infrared camera. This camera is just like any other video camera we use, but it's sensitive only to infrared light. That's why it can track points like the Nintendo sensor bar or light bulbs or candles. So if we want to track our fingers, all we need to do is make our fingers emit infrared light. Now, if your fingers are anything like mine, they don't emit very much infrared light. They're made out of skin. But what they do do is that they can reflect a small amount of light. So if we do something like shine a bright remote control at it, the finger is going to reflect enough light for the Wii remote to see it. A normal remote control is probably not going to be bright enough to do this. But what will be bright enough is an infrared LED array. Now this array may be a little bit overkill, but you can probably make something sufficient with a quick trip to Radio Shack. Just remember to make the hole in the middle, and this is actually so the Wii remote can poke through and see through the LED array. The reason to do this is when you put your finger in front, the light will bounce off from your finger back through the hole to the Wii remote. We put our LED array on top of the TV, something to prop up our remote, and then point it through the hole. Once we power up the LED array, we'll be ready to test it out. Now on the screen down here is a sensitivity adjustment from the Nintendo Wii, and up here you can see that our LED array is powered on. Now the red glow isn't visible to humans, but it's visible to the camera that I'm filming with. Now already, you can see that the uh, Nintendo Wii Remote is responding to my hands and to my fingers. Now tracking individual fingers is a little bit tough. There's a lot of extra noise, and they have to be pretty close to the Wii Remote. If I pull back far enough, my fingers disappear. To increase the amount of infrared light our fingers reflect, we can use a little bit of reflective tape. You can buy this off eBay for about 3 to $4 a sheet, and you can put a little square on your finger. As a result, this makes your finger a lot easier to see by the Wii Remote, and we can get a lot further from the screen and have it still track. We can also make our fingers disappear by bending our fingers down. If I put a square of tape on the fingers of each of my hands, we can now track two points really easily. Also, rather than putting the reflective tape directly onto the finger, you can create loops out of either paper or plastic material so that you create these rings that can easily slip on and off the finger. This way, the adhesive on the reflective tape won't wear out. Since the Wii Remote talks Bluetooth, it's relatively easy to hook it up to a PC. On the screen is a simple demo application that uses two-point interaction. Since I'm using the reflective tape, I can sit at a very comfortable distance on my couch and interact with the television just by waving my hands in the air. So that's how with a Wii Remote, an IR LED array, and a little bit of reflective tape, you can get the whole Minority Report interaction going. But if you actually use this for a while, you'll find that waving your hands up in the air is a little bit tiring. So it may not actually be very good for productivity applications, but it's definitely very cool to play with and it's pretty easy to do. So thanks for watching.